Good day learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. So for today's video ay pag-uusapan natin yung special types of parallelogram. So let's start with the properties of rectangles. So the first property, it has four right angles. So ito yung kanyang four right angles. So you have here one, two, three, four. So, therefore, pag sinabi natin right angles, ang measurement ay exactly 90 degrees. So, kung ito ay 90, so meron kang apat, ang interior angles ng isang rectangle ay 360 degrees. And then, its diagonals are congruent. So, ito yung kanyang diagonal. Ayan. So, you have here two diagonals and they are congruent. Okay, so find ET if RS is 13 meters. So, ito yung ating illustration. So, we are going to look for the measurement of ET. So, we're in ito daw RS. Ayan, so ito daw RS ay 13 meters. So, ngayon naman, nahanapin natin ang measurement ni, ni ET. Ayan. So, find the measurement of ET. So, since the diagonals of a rectangle bisect each other, so therefore, ito daw RN is equal to 2 RS. So, that is 2 times 13 meters. We have here 26 meters. So, ang measurement daw ng kabuuan so, itong RN ay 26 meters. And RN is equal to ET. Kasi according dito sa properties natin, its diagonals are congruent. So, since ang measurement ni RN ay 26 meters, therefore, ET is equal to 26 meters. So, for letter B, we need to find measure angle TRN if measure angle RNT equals to 24 degrees. So, by the way, nilagyan ko nga pala ng special markings yung ating illustration para masabi natin na ito ay rectangle so that we would be able to apply those properties of rectangle. So, naglagay ko ng markings. So, two opposite sides are parallel and congruent. So, again, going back dito sa question. So, how about, ang um, question naman is about the measurement of the given angle. So, ang hahanapin natin is measurement the angle TRN. So, ito yung TRN. Again, ito yung TRN. So, ito yung nawawala. And then, ang given na measurement ni RNT. So, ito yung RNT ito ay 24 degrees. Sige, para ma-visualize the drawing ko ulit. So, ito yung R and T. So, ito yung hahanapin natin. So, ito ay 24 degrees. Knowing that angle T or angle RTN is 90 degrees. So, we all know that the measurement of the interior angles of the given triangle is 180 degrees. So, therefore, we just add the two given angles then subtract it from 180 degrees para makuha natin yung measurement ni angle TRN. So, therefore, that is measurement of angle TRN equals to 180 degrees minus, okay, kung dito sa baba, natin yung 24 degrees plus 90 degrees. Then, 180 degrees minus, so add natin 24 degrees plus 90 degrees is 114 degrees. So, therefore, and measurement angle TRN equals to 180 degrees minus 114 degrees. We have here 
66 degrees. Yan. So, this will be our answer. Or kaya naman, since this one is a right angle, so therefore, these two angles are complementary. So, we just subtract 24 from 90 degrees. And we, also, uh, we will also get 66 degrees. So, I hope that you learned something today regarding solving problems by applying the properties of rectangles. So, on our next video, I will be discussing the properties of a rhombus. So, I hope that you learned something today. So, pwede mo tong i-share and see you on our next video. So, thank you for watching.